This lake was discovered by a certain hunter called Bompe in the year 1640, which is 381 years ago. The media hit the earth or hit Ghana, Ghana being the center of the world. You, you knew that, right? What's up guys, how are you doing today? It's Tyre Aina here again and in a move to show you guys more awesome places in Ghana, I came all the way to Bosom Tue Lake. I'm currently at a resort here. Today we're going to be talking to the founder of the resort. She's going to tell us how she was able to come up with this awesome establishment we are in. As you can see how calm I'm talking, that's because I'm at this very calm lake. This place is really awesome. I almost did not know something like this existed till I eventually came here. Hi, what's up? How are you hey, doing? Hey, Tayo. Hi. <laughs> How hi are you? My, I'm fine. Say Welcome hi to my to viewers. Wild hi, viewers. <laughs> Welcome to Wilding Resort. Yeah, this is Trish. She is the owner of this awesome establishment. My viewers find this place really beautiful it and is. amazing. This, and this I... is an amazing place. <laughs> it's like for all nature lovers. Yeah, this, this is, is the perfect the place. place. This came about when I was younger and I had a dream to build like a Disney World. Hmm. And you know, over the years in Ghana, I realized that we didn't have parks. Everything is building structures, concrete. So, you know, the whole idea of having a park-like place mm -hmm. where you can see green trees for kids to climb and have fun is my motivation for building the place. Wow. <laughs> wow. This place is it's sort of, like I don't think, I like it's divided into two. Because it's sort of like yeah. this side is more of like the relaxation. It's like the, the park, the park garden, side, yeah. everything. And so, then that side is and the then accommodation. And the top is the accommodation. So we're going to go there. Yeah. So guys, get ready to walk. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, can you just give us a short like three minutes of your story? I just grew like up minutes. in New York City. Oh, you grew up in New York? Yes, in Brooklyn. I finished secondary school or high school in New York. I went on to Syracuse University. At first, I wanted to do film. Then I realized I wasn't going to have enough money to build this place for another maybe five years after graduation. So I decided to switch my major okay. to computer science because oh, okay. it was the eighth thing then when yeah. we were graduating. Went to work for IBM after graduating, save up enough money. And this is like all my taxes, my tax returns, my bonuses, yeah, see, yeah, every wow. single money <laughs> ever made. So, you, so you, you came with all of that and yes. you came into Ghana. Yes. So why? I think that's the question I ask you, because why? Because people want to go there. You yes. came with all your money to come and invest here. Why? I don't know, like I just wanted that Disney World, that park. Like when I closed my eyes, I, at 16 I was seeing this place. Wow. I guess it was like a calling, you know. Hmm. I had to, it's like... It was a must for me. I had to build this place. I want a place for people to just come and be, you know, hmm. throw all your problems away, just relax and think. Are you from here in Kumasi? Or I'm you're from, from Kumasi that? area, yes. Oh, I'm you're from, from here, okay. The center of Kumasi. But it was the lake that brought me to this area. So I hid here, created the perfect crater. And over the years, it was just, I guess, dry. Rainfall just kept falling and falling in and created the water. At some point, dust covered the water mm -hmm. and it became quicksand. Quicksand, okay. That's how the antelope was running on it and boom, it went down. Oh. So you, you actually believe the antelope story? No, that's true. Oh, it's true? 100% true. There was a hunter who was hunting and you know, this whole place was like green. Wow. So he's in the forest chasing this antelope and boom, it disappears. It disappears. So he's like, hey, the gods are trying to tell me something. And then, so a few days later, that same spot, the bubble came out. So he said, ah, there's water underneath. So that's how he, he discovered the place. I came in about 21, 22 years ago when I was very young. <laughs> when I saw it, I was blown away. It was so beautiful, same, untouched. Same thing with me too. Perfect. Like, <laughs> I was feeling like this place would be surrounded with like lots just of... We saw jet skis, <laughs> everything happening. And then when we went on the, on, the, on the lake, I was like, what's happening here? Everything was just empty. Quiet. It was like, we're Nothing. the only one. So I'm yes. like, I've seen things like this in other places and they were developed, they were harnessed. From your own point of view, what do you think can be done to change that. Just by looking around, you you can tell it has potential. Yeah. We need money. I hate to say we need government to come in, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we need people to come in. Like, we need investors to come in. Whether it's the government, whether it's private, just come in, let's see what we can all do to make it better, you know? So, so what has the journey been like so far? Oh my so God, it's been frustrating. <laughs> it's been annoying, it's been sad, it's been draining. But best of all, this whole place inspires people, you know. 
I'm, at the end of the I'm day, <laughs> we went through all of that and we are here and it's beautiful. Look at this, you know. Yeah, when what I came out this morning, I was just hearing birds chirping. Exactly. The, everything was just natural, it's even like, now. So like, the place was them. worth the hassle, you know. So that means you're open to investors coming. Very open to investors. And discussing. Yes. When I see places like this, it's always annoying and I'm always like, you okay, can do better. You can do better. <laughs> What's the government doing and all of that? But I feel like it has got to the point where like we've talked about the government, 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 government but it doesn't seem like they're going to do anything for you us. You got to do it. <laughs> so you, what, the do government you feel, is what, you. <laughs> what do you feel is the solution to that? I think we don't have to wait for the government. All of us, we need to know our potential mm -hmm. that we also can do it, mm -hmm. you know. So don't wait for any government start now if you know you want to invest just come over let's have kebabs and chips and let's talk, let's talk and <laughs> so what else is in this section okay so us? here is normally our farm area it goes all the way up oh, so okay. during the, the season mountain. oh yeah if you dare we can try mm. going into <laughs> what was the process like in sort of getting this place the, the, this and then developing it <laughs> oh my god you have time <laughs> Like, um, we came in, we just walked in and we started talking to normal individuals. Like, oh, hey, okay. We want the land. So if a, long, a young person wanted to invest, yeah, I guess the first place to start is talk to people. Okay. You know, go to the village, see who the leaders are or the elders. Find out whether or not they have the land to sell to begin with and research on whether or not that land belongs, belongs to the to person them, I know land who's is selling a big, it. Land is oh a big problem God. in Africa. The best place to not start, but to cross check mm -hmm. will be the land's office to make sure the person selling it to you is legit. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, the person will be legit, but that land belongs to a family, not just one person. Five people will decide to sell, yeah. and the remaining we'll two are it. like, no. no. And you're in trouble, your money is gone already. <laughs> what do you feel can be done to sort of change? Change. This I, I think the road infrastructure is number one. You can't get here. Yeah, the road, you, the road you, gets you know, here was... It doesn't matter how well you build the place. If people can't get here, there's no point. So, and we used to have a huge problem with electricity. And thanks to, you know, uh, a certain man from ECG who really saw the potential of this place and said, we are at your service. And they actually brought the transformer. I was like, wait, 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 the system works? Really? What? So wait, this, this, this light we've been using since yesterday. Yeah, it's, it, it it's was just, about uh, a it's month not ago. No, it's a normal light. Are you serious? So about a month ago, <laughs> the ECG actually brought in the transformer. They installed it. And I'm thinking, oh my God, the system is working. <laughs> So what else is left? Just the road, right? The road. Like, you give us power, give us the road, and see what we can do, Go, what we can make of this place, you know? You said this place, you started it when way you Way back in 99. Wow. Way back. And I don't, I don't even remember if I paid for the whole thing. I wasn't done with school or something then. I remember the guy, the king here, or chief, how old are you? What do you want to build? Like, what? How did you... You so fast. How do you think about this? Yeah, like, what are you thinking? You want to build what? And I'm like, yeah, I, I was just, I want to do this, that, that, mm -hmm. you know. And he was like, okay, go back. Go, go get more money. Come finish paying for it and develop. That's how, you know, older people should also encourage, hmm. you know, younger people. He believed in me. He was like, do it. I believe you can do even better. So older people should encourage, you know, young people to do it. And I'm telling you guys, do it. Your time is now. Time Once is you now. think about it, do it. <laughs> Hmm. Look at this beauty. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very beautiful. <laughs> What's your advice to somebody, let's say somebody like me? Because I feel I've gotten to the stage where I'm tired of complaining yes. and talking like, oh, the government should do this place, oh, the government should do this place. I would eventually in the future like to start going into like building stuff like this. Yes. What would be your advice to somebody like a young person like me who wants to go into something like that? I say start early. Like I started way early. At 16, over 20 years later, I'm still struggling. You can't expect to invest and the next day get a turnaround. If you don't start early, if you smoke, drink, party, you know, by the time you're 40, you're gonna look back and what was what I doing? doing when I was younger? This is your time, this is now. Start something. You don't have to, you don't need to have money. Once you start, I think like, I was telling you guys yesterday, the universe, has, it has a way of pushing you towards the right direction when you start. 
So if you start and you focus on where you want to get to, it, it becomes like automatic. Mm. It's like the force just pushes, pushes you slowly. Yeah. So start now. By the time you are older, it's going to turn around. Look at this place. Started by a girl with no money. No money, you yeah. You know, and <laughs> yeah, look wrong, at it. Yeah. <laughs> we still have a lot of work to go. We need money, but yeah. there was a time that every year I could only get like two trips of sand, one trip of stone. Really? Because of the road? And over the year. No, just no money. Money. So whatever I could get, I, I brought it in. Surely it worked that I lived outside. Our wages are higher. Yeah. You can still live in Africa and still do your little at a time. And you start at 21 to 24, 10 years later, you, you really see that you've accomplished something small or big, but you got to start now. Start, <laughs> start now. Don't sit down. Start. start <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing your story with us. I'm sure a lot of people out there have learned a lot about starting a business or building a business in Ghana. I'm going to put like a details below and the information to this resort. If you want to reach out to her, if you have any business, she's open to business, open partnerships to business, and everything. Everything, yeah. please. Come reach on out down. to her. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful place, man. Let's it's, take this to the next it, level. It's a beautiful place. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe hit to the this like channel. Button. <laughs> <laughs> and our goal this month is getting 300,000 subscribers and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, Peace. out.